this is phil from this side i'm happy to say welcome to you once again to this class today's topic is logarithm of numbers less than one now let's introduce using this you know in solving logarithm problems with tables it's very important you know about characteristics and mantis and if you be with us in the last class that is the logarithm of number greater than one it's certain that you must have known how to get characteristics and mantis but there is something peculiar about getting the characteristics of numbers less than one okay let's use the example to illustrate let's say we are giving 0 0.045 to look for the logarithm which we must begin from getting characteristics then the second one getting mantis two of them joined together will now give you logarithm let's call up standard form which we did the class before the last class it will help us learn something here okay let's imagine in standard form you are giving 0 0.045 and you are asked to turn this number to standard form this number turned to standard form will be 4.5 times 10 to power minus 2 why look at where you brought this decimal as in this decimal move to this point which means if you go from here now count you are counting two places toward the left which makes it negative that is why this negative comes to be here equal if you are giving 0 0.00356 to turn this to standard form you will still make it this way 3.56 times 10 to power minus 3 why this is where you draw the point if you count one two to meet the first decimal you counted three places to the left that's why this negative comes in why did i do this now it will help us remember here gave us minus two now if you are asked to get the logarithm of this number remember you are first going to start with getting the characteristics and the characteristics of this number is called bar 2 as in this same minus 2 but in logarithm you call it bar 2 point you go to the logarithm table and get what what the 400 zero gives you that will be the complete logarithm we are not going to do it here we just want to throw light on how to get the characteristics as well if you are giving 0.000356 the characteristics of this one will be battery you see it's minus three here but here is battery then point if you now go to logarithm table look for that 506 what it gives you is what makes up the complete logarithm this is just introduction let's now go and take it gradually from multiplication to the rest of them so that you will be able to learn better don't forget this one okay just like logarithm of numbers greater than one we have multiplication we have division we have power and root let's still begin with multiplication i brought one problem here to help us learn it the problem says evaluate these numbers this one multiplied by this using logarithm table solution i align them this way which is the normal way to do it using logarithm table now let's begin to solve remember you are not going to see this i'm the one that just made it so that solving this will be easy you are the one to do this okay let's now begin to do this the characteristics of this from what we just learned now is bar one point go to the logarithm table look for 4290 friends one let's jump into the logarithm table now this is the logarithm table this first column are normal numbers it ran from 10 to 99 down down this row up from 0 to 9 is the numbers that harbors the mantis you are looking for these the differences now let's do it with the example so that you understand better okay remember we are looking for the logarithm of 0 0.4291 remember we've written the characteristics of this zero as bar one from what we explained then we'll bring down this point we are now going to look for 42 under 9 difference one you quickly look for where 42 is this 42 you trace it to the column of 9 which is 6325 you write it 6325 you look for what difference one gives difference one gives us one you put it here and add them so we are having 6236 remember the bar one now take it and use it to continue what you are solving this is how to get logarithm of any number less than one okay from the logarithm table we got the mantis to be six three two six now this one from what we did you know the characteristics is bar two point let's still go to logarithm table and get what it is 0 0.0268 we've already known the characteristics of this is bar 2 now go to this logarithm table look for 26 under 8 there is no difference this is 26 under column 8 which gives us 4281 you write it 4281 there is no difference from the logarithm table we got this one to be 4281 now remember this one is being multiplied by this one from the question here what are you going to do the multiplication law says when you are looking for logarithm of two numbers multiplying each other 
you add what the algorithm gives you let's quickly add in adding this whole thing let's take it part by part six plus one gives us seven eight plus two gives us ten you write zero carry one you put it here this five gives six then this one is what ten you write zero carry one there is something about adding this bar one and bar two don't just do it anyhow even calculator cannot be trusted you need to know how to do it offhand let's do it remember we have one from this 10 which we are still going to add it but let's first do this how are you going to do it quickly write this somewhere this is bar one plus bar two what is this telling us mathematically this minus one plus minus two make it this way so that it will help you this minus one this plus this minus they are multiplying each other because of this parenthesis or bracket in british gives us minus two here minus one minus two gives us minus three remember we took one from this 10 let's add it as well this plus that one this minus three now plus one it will give us minus two which we are going to call bar two in log reading you put it here bar two bring down your points you are close to the final answer now quickly go to the anti logarithm table because you need to convert this it's in logarithm you need to convert it to number go to anti logarithm table look for point zero six under zero difference seven let's jump in there okay this is the anti logarithm table let's explain this table now this is the numbers all the mantisas fall under this one now is the number part as in the decimal part because we are talking about logarithm here and this is the difference that make up the complete number remember we are looking for the anti-logarithm of bar 2.0607 what you are going to do now is look for 0 0.06 under 0 difference 7 this 0 0.06 under 0 we are having 1148 then difference is 7 you quickly trace it to difference 7 column which gives us 2 you write it down 2 you add them up 8 plus 2 will give us 10 you write 0 carry one put it here 5 bring down the other ones this becomes the answer you will get when you look for the anti logarithm of this logarithm quickly now take this to your work and effect it with this bar 2 let's go and do it there from the anti logarithm we got 1150 remember this bar 2 is here how are you going to effect this answer with this bar 2 the way you do it is you count two zeros before this number that gives you the answer the first zero is this you put your point you write the second zero this becomes 0 0.01150 which is the final answer this is about multiplication let's go and do division now this is the division problem it says solve 0 0.06 divided by this one using logarithm table solution i align them this way to make it quick but remember you will do it bring this one align the other one under it remember the division quickly get the characteristics characteristics of this one is bar two from what we've learned you put your point go to logarithm table look for 60 under zero you're looking for the logarithm of 0 0.06 and the characteristics is bar two then you put point now how you get this one remember it's six here if you check here there is no six what you're going to do now go to 60 under zero this bar two will cover everything so you quickly go down this is 60 under zero this is zero column the mantisa is giving us 7782 you write it here 7782 this becomes what you're looking for take it to the problem you are solving and continue we got 7782 now characteristics of this one is battery you write it put your point go to the logarithm table look for 53 under one difference two we are looking for the logarithm of 0 0.005312 remember we've already written the characteristics as battery because of this 0, 0.00 here so we are now going to look for 53 under one difference two you quickly go down this 53 53 under one is this one we are having mantisa to be 7251 you write it after the point 7251 the difference two is giving us two you add it to it we are having battery 0.7253 let's continue for in case we didn't come back to look for logarithm of any number if you've known this you've known it it gives us 7253 remember this one is being divided by this one which means this up one minus this one that's the law of division in logarithm now let's subtract 2 minus 3 tungo you take one from this 8 put it it will become 12 12 minus this 3 it will give us 9 you write it 9 this one remains 7 7 minus this 5 it will give us 2 7 minus this 2 5 7 minus 7 0 bring down a point then this one don't just do it anyhow remember this bar 2 minus bar 3 break it this way bar 2 minus bar 3 minus times minus will give us plus you bring down 3 this becomes more like 3 minus 2 if you want to rewrite it that way which will give us 1 
write it here one now go to the anti-logarithm table look for 0 0.05 under two difference nine let's still look for the anti-logarithm of 1.0529 Please, I want you to get it because if you understand what we are doing here, you will be able to follow up. Okay, how are we going to do it? Remember, this is characteristics. It has nothing to do here. You will use it to effect the final answer. You look for 0.05 under 2 difference 9. This 0.05 under 2, we are having 1127. Okay, trace it also to difference 9 column. This is difference 9. It's giving us 2. You put it here and add it. 9, 1, 1. This becomes the anti-logarithm of this. Take it to the main work and effect it with this one. Okay, from the anti-logarithm table, the value was 1129. Remember? Remember, this one as the characteristics must affect this. If you remember what we did in logarithm of problem greater than one, you know when you are having one, you count two places. Let's now count two places. This first one, second one, point will come here. You're having now 11.29 as your answer. Okay, number three, the power. Under it, we are asked to solve 0 0.4291 times this. All of them in parentheses or in bracket in British to the power 2 using logarithm table. Now, solution to make it quick. Let's write the characteristics. From what we've learned, we know the characteristics of this one is by 1. You put your point, you go to logarithm and look for 42 under 9 difference 1. It gives us 63.26. Characteristics of this one is by 2. You put your point you go and look for 26 under 8 there is no difference it gives us 4281 remember from this question they are multiplying each other that's why this multiplication is here what are you going to do the logarithm law says you add them okay let's add them 7 2 plus 8 gives us 10 you write 0 carry 1 you put it here this one becomes 4 plus this 6 this plus this gives us 10 you write 0 carry 1 remember you are carrying 1 then do this one bar 1 plus bar 2 what are they going to give us minus 3 remember that one you add them minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 which is bar 2 you put it here bar 2 you put your point now from the question we know that they are all raised to power 2 which tells us we are going to multiply this one by 2 if we do that we are having by 4.1214 that's what it will give you now to finish it go to anti-logarithm table look for point one two under one difference four gives us one three two two now remember this characteristics bar four use it to effect it which means four zeros before these numbers let's do it zero point zero 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 this becomes the answer let's continue into root law Okay, this number four, root law. The question says, solve cube root of 0 0.06 divided by this one using logarithm table. As usual, solution, I align them this way to make it quick. Now, characteristics of this one is bar two. You write it, put your point, you go to the logarithm table and look for 60 under zero. There is no difference. It gives 7782. Now, characteristics of this one is bar three. Put your point, still go to logarithm table, look for 53 under one difference two. It gives seven two five three they are dividing each other which tells you you have to subtract this one from this up one now let's do the subtraction two minus three it can go you take one from here put it here it becomes 12 12 minus three you will have nine this remains seven seven minus five it will give us two seven minus two it will give us five seven minus seven zero bring down the point this is bar two minus bar three you write it one remember all of them we under cube root which tells us this minus this the answer will be divided by three if we divide this by three we are going to have 0 0.35097 now quickly go to the anti-logarithm look for 0 0.35 under zero difference nine it gives us two two four four let's effect it with this zero we'll count one place because it's zero point will be here this becomes the answer now having come this far i want us to solve one complicated problem it will help us to learn more now this is the problem evaluate this times this to power three times this one all divided by cube root of this one times this one and this is to power two using logarithm table i aligned these numerators this way as we continue we'll bring down the denominators let's solve characteristics of this we know is bar two points you go to logarithm table and look for 62 under three you get seven nine four five still look for this one 
characteristic is by one you look for 23 under one you are going to have 3636 six. there is something about this one it was raised to power 3 which tells us we are multiplying it by 3 we are having by 2.0908 which means we are still going to bring this one to this side so that they will align this one is by 2.7945 okay let's equally do this one the characteristics is one point go to logarithm table look for 25 under zero difference for to give us 3986 still bring it to this side to align every of them 1.3986 they are all multiplying each other which means this plus this plus this if you add them you will be getting by 2.2839 now bring down the denominator solve them and get a summary whatever it gives you you will subtract it from this the numerator gives us let's quickly do it okay let's write them down beginning from the inside ones let's align them for 10.5 this 0.5 42 to power 2 characteristics of this one is 2 point look for 41 under 0 difference 5 it gives us 6133 three. this one characteristics is by 1 look for 42 under 0 no difference it gives us 6232 two. remember this one is to power 2 multiply this by 2 we are going to have by 2.2464 okay we still need to align it let's bring this one equally to this side 2.6133 they are multiplying each other which means this will be added to this one add these two together remember this has bar just do it carefully we have 1.8597 remember this whole denominator was under the cube root of 3 which means we are going to divide this by 3 divided by 3 we are going to have 0.6199 you are going to do everything that this whole numerator gives you minus whatever the denominator gives you the denominator has given us this let's align them this one is equally the same thing by 2.2839 this minus this let's put the minus here okay, if we subtract this from this one we are going to have by 3.6640 now this is the one you are going to look for its antilogarithm to get your final answer which will be here so quickly go to the antilogarithm look for 0.66 under 4 difference 0 is nothing it gives 4613 now let's effect it with this characteristics which is battery which will be three zeros before this number 0, 0.00 this becomes the final answer hope you were able to learn something so far thank you for being a part of this class have a nice day